Over the last decade, brain imaging has recorded specific neural activity in religious believers in prayer. And this has led to a startling new claim. What if spiritual experience has no reality outside our skulls? What if God hasn't made us? What if we make God? Dr. Alistair Coles is a neurologist at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. He's researched the links between brain activity and religious belief. Humans have had this spiritual experience for centuries, and there have been various different interpretations of them over that time. Clearly, people of faith believe that they are truly encountering God or the divine. At the other end of the spectrum are people who say that these experiences are nothing but the epiphenomenon, the side effects of a working brain getting on with its daily life. And they amount to nothing. They speak of nothing outside of the brain. But is it a surprise that any human experience, including spiritual experience, is accompanied by brain activity? If someone wanted to come along and link me up to electrodes while I was praying or while I was in worship and find that, that my brain patterns were slightly different, then that wouldn't be a great surprise to me. Um, I think spiritual experience is real and therefore there should be a, a, a way of looking at that in terms of the physicality of the brain. But just to look at those brain patterns and to say that that is all that spiritual experience is seems to me to be mistaken. To do science people will reduce a complicated human behaviour to something that can be tested and measured. So the complicated behaviour of religious experience to something that can be measured in an image on a particular scan. That's methodological reductionism to make it easier to do science. So a spiritual experience is associated with a neural correlate, but that does not mean that religious experience is nothing but a neural correlate there may well be more to it that isn't accommodated by the scientific method.